Is Ragadraga Gorgut's boss CDH viable? Find out on today's episode. Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Ryan, piloting Jensen Cartholion Druid Exile with Lurus of the Dream Den as the companion. This deck seeks to resolve and activate Hermit Druid as fast as possible, then go for a Thassa's Oracle win. Ryan's opening hand contains an Arcane Signet, Priest of Felrites, Mana Crypt, Snap, Fiend Artisan, Mystic Remora, and a Birds of Paradise. Next, we have TK pounding Nimrus Unus Trickster. This deck seeks to control the board while gaining an advantage from its commander before going for a classic Thoracle win. TK's opening hand contains a Dark Ritual, Spell's Guide, Opposition Agent, Cursed Totem, Demonic Tutor, Flooded Strand, and a Demir Signet. After that, we have Alex pounding Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. This deck seeks to resolve its commander, ramp on mana, and win by flipping massive creatures onto the battlefield. Alex's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Island, Phyrexian Metamorph, Hallbreaker Horror, Trenosphere, Worldly Tutor, and his London Mulligan as Athasa's Oracle. Finally, we have our Mox Pro patron Chris, piloting Ragged Draga Gorgut's boss. This deck seeks to cast large spells, makes its mana dorks huge, and then turn that into a win. Chris's opening hand contains a Trinosphere, Elvish Mystic, Survival of the Fittest, Birds of Paradise, Elvish Spirit Guide, Green Sun Zenith, and a Crag Crown Pathway. Without further ado, let's kick off this periodical perilous perishable paradigm. Ryan got the best time in the Halo speedrun and gets to start us off. Ryan draws a card for turn and casts a Mana Crypt. He casts an Arcane Signet. He casts a turn one, Mystic Remora. The table's eyes, and Ryan passes. TK draws and plays an Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. With Remora completely changing his plans, TK passes. Alex draws and plays an Island. He casts a Mana Crypt. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. He casts a Trinosphere and Ryan draws again. In response, TK casts Dark Ritual and Ryan draws from Remora. He adds three black and then flashes in an Opposition Agent. Agent resolves, then Trinosphere resolves, the table straps in, and Alex ends his turn. Chris draws and plays a Timber Crown Pathway. He stares at his hand of now useless cards and ships the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He also pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He taps his Delta for black through Urborg to help cast Mox Diamond, discarding Bloodstained Mire. Ryan passes the turn. TK draws, plays a Flooded Strand, and passes. During his upkeep, Alex loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and pays two life to cast Phyrexian Metamorph. It enters as a copy of Arcane Signet. Alex ends his turn. Chris draws and plays a Shatter Skull to Hammer Pass and to play Untapped, paying three life. He exiles of a Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a green. He casts a Birds of Paradise. Chris passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He also pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He casts a Birds of Paradise of his own. Ryan sends the turn to TK. TK draws and plays a City of Traders. He casts a Cursed Totem. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. TK passes to Alex. During his upkeep, Alex loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts the One Ring. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. Ring enters and Alex gains protection from everything until his next turn. He activates the One Ring, adding a Burn Encounter and drawing a card. Alex gives the turn to Chris. Chris draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He also pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He casts a Fiend Artisan. He passes. TK draws and casts a Spell Skite. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Alex loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He also loses a life to the One Ring. Still in his upkeep, he activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing two cards. He draws and casts his commander, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. He passes, discarding to hand size. Chris draws, still does nothing, and passes. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He also pays to keep his Remora again. He draws and casts Priest to Fell Rites. He ends his turn. TK draws and casts an Arcane Signet. Remora triggers and Ryan draws. TK passes. 
During his upkeep, Alex loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He also loses 2 life from the one ring. Still in his upkeep, he activates the one ring, adding a counter, and drawing 3 cards. He draws and plays an exotic orchard. He casts Genja Taxis Progress Tyrant. Everyone realizes that they've reached that stage of the game, and Alex passes, discarding to hand size. Chris draws and plays a mountain. He casts a tender wall. Feeling like he finally got to do something this game, he passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his mana crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He also finally lets his remora die. He draws and casts Sylvan Library. Ryan ends his turn. TK draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of TK's turn, Ryan channels Ottawara Soaring City, bouncing Jinja Taxes back to Alex's hand, preventing any free copying on his turn. During his upkeep, Alex loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He also loses 3 life to the One Ring. Still in his upkeep, he activates the One Ring, adding a counter, and drawing 4 cards. He draws and plays an island. He casts Seedborn Muse. The table sees that the end is probably near, and Alex passes, discarding to hand size. Alex untaps with Chris through Seedborn. Chris draws and asks TK if he can help him out of this situation. TK agrees, and Chris casts Green Sun Zenith where X equals 2, knowing about Opposition Agent. It resolves, and TK fetches up a Collector Oof into exile through Oppo Agent. Then Chris shuffles Green Suns back into his library. Chris passes. At the end of Chris's turn, Alex activates the One Ring. In response, TK flashes in his commander, Nimrus, Una's Trickster. In response, Alex flashes in a Hull Breaker Horror. Horror and Nimrus resolve, then Alex adds a counter to the One Ring and draws 5 cards. The turn moves to Ryan. Alex untaps with Ryan through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his mana crypt flip and takes 3 damage. During his draw step, he draws 2 extra through Sylvan Library, paying 4 life to keep 1 extra. He plays a Forbidden Orchard for turn. He passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Alex activates the One Ring, adding a counter, and drawing 6 cards. Alex untaps with TK through Seedborn. TK draws and casts Collector Roof. In response, Alex casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling the blue card, and paying 3 through Trinosphere, targeting Oof. Hullbreaker Horror triggers, targeting Alex's own Trinosphere. In response, Ryan pays 3 to cast an offer you can't refuse, targeting Force. In response, Alex activates the One Ring, adding a counter, and drawing 7 cards. Then Force is countered, and Alex creates 2 treasures. Then Hullbreaker bounces Trinosphere, and then with the Oof still in the stack, Alex casts Veil of Summer. Hullbreaker Horror triggers, bouncing Oof from the stack back to Chris's hand. Then Veil resolves, Alex draws a card, and with nothing else, TK passes the turn. During his upkeep, Alex loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He also loses 7 life to the One Ring. Still in his upkeep, he activates the One Ring. In response, TK casts Mystical Tutor. Nimrus triggers, TK looks at the top 2, putting one into his hand and the other into his graveyard. Then Tutor resolves, and TK fetches up a Shadow of Doubt onto the top of his library. Then Alex adds a counter to the One Ring and draws 8 cards. He draws and plays a Manamo, School at Water's Edge. He casts Mox Amber. Hullbreaker Horror triggers and Alex bounces Mana Crypt back to his hand. He taps his Mox Amber for double blue, then casts Mana Crypt, bouncing Mox Amber back to his hand. He presents a loop of tapping his rocks for mana, then bouncing them back and forth through Hullbreaker Horror. He makes infinite mana, then bounces the One Ring. He recasts the One Ring. Hullbreaker triggers, bouncing Mana Crypt. The One Ring enters, and Alex gets protection from everything. He presents another loop of tapping the One Ring, drawing a card, then bouncing the One Ring through Hullbreaker Horror and recasting it over and over. With this loop, he draws his entire deck. He casts Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and Alex wins the game. In this game, TK's opening hand contains a Pact of Negation, Watery Grave, Force of Will, Mystic Remora, Jeweled Lotus, Chrome Box, and a Lotus Petal. Alex's opening hand contains a Yava Maya Coast, Birds of Paradise, Island, Mana Confluence, Hullbreaker Horror, Seedborn Muse, and a Nyx Bloom Ancient. Chris's opening hand contains a Wandering Archaic, Eldritch Evolution, Gemstone Caverns, Heron Blade Elite, Red Elemental Blast, Thran Quarry, and a Momentous Fall. Ryan's opening hand contains a Snap, Taiga, Felwar Stone, Exotic Orchard, Ragavan Nimble Pilfer, Imperial Seal, and his London Mulligan is an intuition. And TK gets to start us off. But Chris has a pregame action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Momentous Fall. TK draws and plays a Watery Grave into play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts a Mystic Remora. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Pact of Negation. He casts a Jewel Lotus. He casts a Lotus Petal. After a fantastic turn 1, TK passes. Alex draws and plays a Yava Maya Coast. He taps it to cast Birds of Paradise. Alex passes. Chris draws and plays a Thran Quarry. He casts Scrib Ranger. He ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He taps it, giving TK a Spirit to cast Imperial Seal. Remora triggers and TK draws. Then Ryan fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses 2 life. Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, TK flashes in his commander, Nimrus, Una's Trickster. During his upkeep, TK pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Ledger Shredder. He ships the turn to Alex. Alex draws and plays an island. He taps his Yava Maya Coast to help cast his commander, Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. He casts Llanowar Elves. Shredder triggers, and TK connives a dress down, giving Shredder a counter. Alex passes the turn to Chris. Chris draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He taps it, giving Ryan a spirit to help cast Heron Blade Elite. Chris ends his turn. 
Ryan draws and plays a Taiga. He casts a Mana Crypt, Remora triggers and TK draws. He casts a Felwar Stone, Ledger Shredder triggers and TK connives a Vampiric Tutor giving Shredder a counter. Remora triggers and TK draws as well. Next, Ryan casts Ragaman Nimble Pilferer. He taps Forbidden Orchard, giving TK a spirit to help cast his commander, Jensen Cartholion, Druid Exile. With nothing else, Ryan passes to TK. During his upkeep, TK pays to keep his Remora. He draws, holds open mana, and passes. Alex draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps it to help cast Gilded Drake. It enters and targets Nimrus. In response, TK casts Deadly Relic for its alternate cost, targeting Drake. Nimrus triggers and TK looks at the top two, putting one into his hand and the other into his graveyard. Then Gilded Drake is exiled and the exchange does not happen. Next, Alex casts Seedborn Muse. Ledger Shredder triggers and TK connives a Windfall, giving Shredder a counter. In response, TK casts Force of Will, paying a life, exiling a blue card, countering Seedborn Muse. With nothing else, Alex ends his turn. Chris draws and taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving TK a spirit to help cast his commander, Raga Draga, Gorgut's boss. Heron Blade triggers and gets a plus one plus one counter. Chris passes. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays a Tundra. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Ragavan. Alex takes it, Ragavan triggers, Ryan creates a treasure, and Alex exiles Priest of Titania. In his second main phase, Ryan casts Priest of Titania from exile through Ragavan. Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, TK casts Consider. Nimrus triggers and TK looks at the top two, putting one into his hand and the other into his graveyard. Then Consider resolves and TK surveils one, leaving it on top. The turn moves to TK. During his upkeep, TK lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He casts Cabal Ritual with Threshold, adding five black. He casts Mnemonic Betrayal. Ledger Shredder triggers and TK connives a Graph Digger's Cage, giving Shredder a counter. Then Betrayal resolves and each opponent exiles their libraries and TK exiles Betrayal. He casts Grim Monolith. He casts Seedborn Muse from Exile. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Ledger Shredder. Ryan takes five, TK passes, and all cards are returned to their owner's graveyards. TK untaps with Alex through Seedborn. Alex draws and casts an Arcane Signet. He casts the One Ring. Ledger Shredder triggers and TK connives a Spire of Industry. It enters and Alex gains protection from everything. He activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing a card. He taps his Yava Mycos to cast Finehorn Elves. Alex ends his turn. Chris draws and taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving TK a spirit to cast Allosaurus Shepherd. He casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Scrib Ranger as an additional cost. Shredder triggers and TK connives Time Twister, giving Shredder a counter. Then Eldritch resolves and Chris fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. Dockside enters and in response, TK casts Stifle, targeting the Dockside trigger. Nimrus triggers, TK looks at the top two, putting one into his hand and the other into his graveyard. In response, Chris casts Red Elemental Blast, countering Stifle. Then Chris creates six treasures. Next, Chris casts Regal Force. Ragged Draga triggers, Chris untaps Heron Blade Elite, and it gets plus seven plus seven. Then Regal Force enters and Chris draws four cards. He taps Heron Blade, adding 11 green. He casts Life's Legacy, sacrificing Regal Force, drawing five cards. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Wandering Archaic. He casts Last March of the Ents. Ragged Draga triggers, Chris untaps Heron Blade, and it gets plus seven plus seven. Last March resolves, and Chris draws 18 cards, then puts Viridian Joiner. Circle of Dreams Druid, Teamer Sabertooth, Finehorn Elves, and a Thorn Mammoth onto the battlefield. Mammoth triggers and fights Nemrus, killing it. Next, Chris exiles Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a green. He taps Heron Blade for 18 and then casts an Entwine to the Nail. Ragged Dragon triggers, giving Heron Blade plus 7 plus 7, and Chris untaps it. Then Tooth and Nail resolves. Chris fetches up an Eternal Witness and fetches up a Void Winnower into his hand. He then puts both onto the battlefield. Eternal Witness enters and Chris returns Regal Force from his graveyard to his hand. Thorn Mammoth triggers twice, fighting Jensen and Kennen, killing them both. Next, Chris casts Regal Force. Ragged Dragon triggers, giving Heron Blade plus seven plus seven, and Chris untaps it. Then Regal Force enters, and Chris draws ten cards. He casts Great Oak Guardian. It enters, Chris untaps his creatures, and then get plus two plus two until the end of turn. He casts a Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. Chris presents a loop of floating mana, returning Great Oak Guardian to his hand through Teamer Sabertooth, then recasting it, untapping his creatures. Using this loop, he generates infinite mana. He casts Valakut Awakening. He puts the cards in his hand onto the bottom of his library and draws that many plus one. He presents another loop of bouncing and recasting Eternal Witness through Sabertooth, returning Valakut Awakening to his hand and recasting it to filter through his entire deck. He does this until he finds Spine of Ishsaw. He casts Spine of Ishsaw. It enters and destroys one of Ryan's permanents. Chris casts Force of Vigor, destroying Spine. Spine triggers and Chris returns it to his hand. He bounces and recasts Eternal Witness to get Force of Vigor back to his hand. He presents a loop of casting and destroying Spine of Ishsaw to destroy all of his opponent's permanents. All permanents are destroyed except Alex's The One Ring. Chris moves to combat and attacks Ryan and TK with his massive army, killing them since Alex still has protection from The One Ring. In his second main phase, Chris casts Great Oak Guardian one more time to untap his creatures. Chris passes to Alex. During his upkeep, Alex loses a life to the One Ring. He also activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing two. Alex sees that he has nothing to survive, concedes, and Chris wins the game.
Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun set of games tonight. Congrats to Alex and Chris on their wins. In game one, Alex completely steamrolled the table with his advantage through the one ring. He drew card after card and it was more than the table could handle. In game two, Chris exploded out of nowhere on his turn. He was suddenly able to go off using his commander and it gave him more than enough to win. He was an excellent pilot of the deck and he showed that off tonight. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to the One Ring. In both games this evening, it was a major player. In game one, Alex used it along with Seaborn Muse to draw so many cards in just one turn cycle. In game two, Chris had to pass the turn because he couldn't kill Alex due to protection from everything. He had to take a lot of extra steps to ensure that Alex didn't have any effective way out all because of his protection from everything. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.